everyone hope you're doing amazing today we are doing well thank you so much happy new year happy holidays for those of you that don't know me my name is carolina fonseca jimenez and we have our website at www.lupitainspires.com there we focus on children's books we talk about the beauty of the mexican culture through the eyes of a little girl named lupita so that's part of what we do on our Lupita Inspires website. Another part of what we do is we talk about love, unity, and peace, how to spread that in the world, how to be a source of motivation and inspiration for others. And we do a lot of this through dream interpretation. We use dream interpretation to really have a conversation with our subconscious selves to understand what is really going on at that deep level. So thank you so much for watching today. We are going to get right into it with 2019. It's right around the corner it's like tomorrow so um i know what we're starting to think about we're starting to think about our new year's resolutions and what happens with new year's resolutions typically we start talking about i want to lose weight i want to gain more muscle i want a new job i want more money i want all these other things we start talking about all the stuff we want and we start talking about a lot of things that happen to be external to us a lot of them happen to be just outside of us. So in this video, I want to focus on changing that up a little bit and focusing on what we can do to see what we want to see in this world, but starting internally, okay? So for example, let's just get started so that we can kind of start to understand what the heck I'm talking about. Okay, when we talk about either losing weight or gaining weight or changing our physique in some way or form, typically we say, you know, we're gonna do this diet or we're going to do this crazy exercise and let's change it let's not do that let's instead focus on feeling good think about it if you're eating a particular food and it makes you feel good while you're eating it and when you're done eating it and the next day go ahead and keep eating it right but if you're eating a particular food that hurts your stomach that makes you feel anxious that makes you feel bloated and then the next day you feel like crap probably should stop eating that right so it's easier than we make it seem. We want to find this magic pill or we want to find this diet that's going to fix all of our problems. But the reality is that not every diet is for everybody. We need to find the way of eating that is best for us. So let's focus this year and really, really, really put into our bodies what is worthy of being put into our bodies. So if you're eating something, and like I said, if you're feeling good while you're eating it and you feel good about it later and you feel good about it tomorrow when your body feels good, you go ahead and keep eating it. But if it doesn't, and if you're feeling bloated, and if you're getting cramps, you gotta stop eating it, okay? Simple as that. And you know what? You're going to lose weight, you're gonna get more muscular, why? Because it's just a natural consequence of you doing what your body needs, of you listening to what your body needs, right? So that's the first thing. The second thing that I am going to focus on this year, and I think will be great if the rest of us do it as well, so we can kind of do this together, right? Is working on really accepting our feelings. And I know I talk about that a lot. You've seen the other videos where I talk about accepting what you're truly feeling, okay? But that is something that we have to practice every single day. And the way that we do that is if we're in a particular situation at work, at home, it doesn't matter where you are. If you are feeling a particular way about something, accept your feelings, do not hide them. Do not hide your feelings, do not push them to the side. Do not think that just because you push them over, they're going to go away. Those feelings won't go away. You need to acknowledge those feelings, whether you think that they're positive or negative, because in reality, they're not positive or negative. They're just feelings. And really, it's your subconscious self just letting you know, hey, this is how I'm feeling. This is how we're doing, right? It's just a quick check-in with yourself. So let's work on that. Let's work on really accepting how we're feeling, because once we can accept how we're feeling, we know how to move on forward. If we're feeling great, let's keep on doing what we're doing. If we're feeling anxious, if we're feeling nervous, if we're feeling insecure about something, it's just a sign that we need to work on something else with ourselves, right? That's all it is. That's uh, one of the other things to work on. Okay, another thing to work on that I've started this year that I'm going to continue next year and gonna do even like a better job at it is being transparent. Being transparent with myself and being transparent with others and doing that in a nice, respectful way so that others can also be transparent with us. And by that, I mean just being more honest with each other, being honest with yourselves and being honest with those around you. Because what happens when you are transparent and you are who you are, regardless of what you may think your imperfections are or not, 
you have this sense of peace because you don't have to pretend to be someone else today around this group of people and then pretend to be someone else around this group of people. You don't have to do any of that. Why? Because you're being transparent and you're being the true you that you are and that is all that we want. That is all that I want because what ends up happening is that when you're transparent and you show people the real you, guess what? You're going to make a whole ton of new friends who truly value you for just being you. Be prepared though that some people who you thought were your friends will be leaving your life and that's okay too. That's totally normal and it's and it's totally fine. Why? Because you guys have had your time already. You've learned from each other and it's time to move on. Everybody needs to be more transparent so that we can be around those people that are going to benefit us and our growth more and more. Okay, that's what we're practicing this year. So focus on being more transparent with yourself, with others, and I promise you, you're going to feel an immense amount of just peace and love because of it. Which brings me to my next thing, love. Focusing this year to be in love, to literally feel love within us. Because if you are like me and you you believe the world is laid out in such a way. I truly believe that the natural state of human beings is in a love state, a state of love and acceptance. I think that that is our natural state. So I'm working this year to get back to that, to get back to that state of love and unity with myself so that that way I can reflect that to other people. We've talked about this in other videos that when you truly love and accept yourself with all your imperfections and all, it's a wonderful thing, but guess what? It's wonderful for you, but you also reflect it to other people. So what does that mean? That means that you are literally sharing this wonderful love you have inside with others. And then they in turn get to receive that, feel good, and then spread that to other people. So this year, let's focus on truly loving ourselves deeply because when we do that, we can truly love and accept other people. If we don't love ourselves, it is really hard to love other people. If we don't accept ourselves, it makes it even harder to accept other people. And you know, right now, it's such an important time to be more in line with ourselves than ever. Right now, the, the transparency and love in this world is growing tremendously. Sometimes, I know it doesn't seem like it because we see a lot of darkness. We see a lot of this negativity in the news and on social media. But the reality of it is, is that a lot of us are being so much love and so much light in this world that darkness can't hide anymore. All of these things that are happening around our political system and in the world are starting to show and are starting to be more apparent than ever because people are just not standing by on the sidelines anymore. We are asking and demanding for more. We want to see more love, unity, and peace in this world. And if people do not <laughs> align with that, it's like very obvious and it's just, it's not going to be able to be hidden any longer, right? So this year, let's focus on that. Let's focus on truly being more transparent with ourselves, with accepting the feelings that we have inside, with loving one another truly and deeply. And then the last thing that we want to focus on that has helped me a lot this year and that I think will help you too, is to continue to interpret your dreams. Because you know what? With your dreams, that literally is a conversation with your subconscious mind. So if you're having a, a dream that repeats itself, a scary dream, a happy dream, whatever it is, take that, write it down, and just make note of it. Because you know what? That is your subconscious speaking to you. And that is a way for you to truly connect with yourself and to see what is going on at a deeper level, okay? So, all right, guys, that's what I have for you this year. I will continue to make more videos. I'll post them every Monday. And I'm going to do more about dream interpretation. So if you do have a certain dream that you want me to interpret on the next show, just uh, send it to me and um, we'll see if, if we pick yours and we can focus on it a little bit. I may pick like two of them and just interpret those two. Um, but you know, just uh, send me your messages, send me any questions that you have and um, you know how to reach me, okay? So it was wonderful getting a chance to just reach out to you today. I hope that your entire new year, every single day of it is filled with love, unity and peace. And um, I do want to make one last note actually. I had a couple messages from some people that their family members are ill and they're not doing so well. A couple of them are in the hospital. So I just want to take this opportunity to let you know that I am thinking of that person and that every time that I think of that person, I'm sending nothing but love, unity and peace and energy of, of just positivity over to you. I know that it's a, it's a tough time right now for many of you and your loved ones, but just know that many of us are just 
here for you and we are a support system. You can always reach out to me if you're having a tough time in your life and you just need someone to talk to. You know I'm here for you um, regardless, okay? So, alrighty. I'm wishing you nothing but love, unity, and peace. I will talk to you all soon. Bye, everyone.